And we want to talk about everything happening outside from all the rain and all the snow, especially up at Mount Hood. Yeah, Mount Hood over the last couple of days, a couple of feet of snow. Jeez. And of course, the gorge, they've had a lot of snow. But if you're thinking this weekend plans, you want to get out there, buy your tickets, do whatever you need to do to get up there and experience the fresh new powder. Got some good news for you. Almost every day this week, we're expecting to add on to those snow totals. Right now, Mount Hood Meadows at 26 degrees. Let's take a look at your ski report. First of all, a base of 107 inches, Timberline Meadows 104, 41 inches, Ski Bowl, Bachelor 86 inches, and your 24 hour totals there at Timberline. 12 inches, so a foot of new snow. How much more could we see in the next 24 hours? It could range anywhere from about three to six inches on the low end up to almost nine or even close to 12 inches. That would be above 5,000 feet, though. You get below 4,000 feet, and now you're only talking about maybe three, four inches tops here in the next 24 hours. And really, most of this moisture is going to be out of here by the time we get to late morning tomorrow. Here's a live look at Doppler radar right now. You can see everything in green right here. That's all rain for you right here in the valley. And then you get into the foothills above 1,000 feet and you're seeing the snowfall. That continues. Also, areas right around 1,500 feet as you get up past the West Hills, up towards Highway 26, you're running into some snow, especially through the gorge. That has been the snowiest place for us in the last few days and really overall in the last week. We might be mixing in some freezing rain, though, with all this action as temperatures have come up a few degrees, leading us to temperatures in the low 30s, right around 33 degrees. You can see out here right towards the Dells, heading into Hood River, slightly warmer temperatures just above freezing. So we'll watch for that. A winter weather advisory and winter storm warning in effect for those areas. Now, as we take a closer look here, right around Amboy, up through Cougar, you're going to run into snow there. But heading down into the valley, a little bit closer to I-5, it's all rain for you. Now, checking out your con current conditions here. Portland downtown, 37 degrees, and your dew point's 37. So yeah, pretty saturated air out there as we continue to see the rain fall. Wind out of the southeast at 9 miles per hour. Your sunrise time tomorrow, 717. Here's the big picture. So we have an area of low pressure way far away from the southwest. I'm talking about all the way from Hawaii. The remnants of a system that came through there is now getting wrapped up in an area of low pressure that is going to begin diving down out of the Gulf of Alaska. You combine the two, you get a whole lot of rain all at once. Now we're talking about this frontal system. Remember the one that kind of parked itself over northwest Oregon last night and early this morning? Well, that has since moved a little bit south and then it moved a little bit further north again. So it's acting stationary again. It's going to take a while to kick this thing out of the picture. So by the time we get to about 10, 30, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, you should see mostly dry conditions, especially Portland North. Uh, down south towards uh, Salem, Albany, you're just beginning to get rid of that rain by the time we approach your lunch hour. Hey, look at that. Want to head up to the mountains tomorrow? You should have a pretty good afternoon with mostly clear skies and a few clouds in the mix. Overall flow is going to be coming from the north, northeast, looking for colder temperatures in the mix as we get into tomorrow. And just in time for Valentine's Day, I'm going to warm it up for you. Well, on Friday anyway. 48 degrees for you. Uh, chance we might see some thunderstorms near the coast, possibly approaching our inland valleys on Friday. Uh, that's kind of the quirk in the next seven days. Other than that, your standard rain and temperatures in the 40s at the end of the week. 48 will feel like a heat yeah. wave. No, it will, yeah. We'll, we'll take it. I think let a me, lot of people will like it. Let me ask you something. Can Cupid fly when his wings are wet? Yes, yes. he can do anything. <laughs> <They are. laughs> he can do anything. Just Thanks, like Sam, still ahead here on the news. Pictures and